Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Alexandra. I'm Jordan. And, <laughs> and uh, we're from Capud. Um, I remember when I just started working in harm reduction, I was new, new, new at a journal made by Pierre Carl Injector. And um, I was all excited to be finally working, doing something I like because harm reduction really revealed something for me. And uh, I was going to a um, legal aid network meeting in Toronto for the first time I was traveling out of Montreal. And um, during that meeting, uh, there was a special session. They, they invited one uh, peer representing a peer association from each province in Canada. Uh, as you know, Canada is really big and it's all separated by different province. And what's happening here is that even though we're one big country, all the province work differently. So us in Montreal, we, we were hearing about Van Du, Van Du, they were at the Vancouver area network of people who use drugs. They had fought for supervised injection site and we were really, really um, envious and proud of what they did. And at Lacpsid, we were starting to be big, but you know, we, we had LADIC, the uh, 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 right, uh, Advocacy Association for People Who Use Drug and Inclusion. And uh, each one in our province, really far from each other. And even in Quebec province, we're really far from each other. I have a colleague, he's Derek Rémy, he's living 10 hours from Montreal. And uh, <laughs> we, we were meeting all the time. And at that reunion, we, we would be people from each different uh, province of Canada, <laughs> speaking all together and, you know, thinking about uh, yeah, working together finally, and we decided for a name, and we decided to call ourselves CAPUD, Canadian Association of People Who Use Drug, and in French it's ACPUD. Uh, just you know, you, French and English look alike a lot. <laughs> 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 so we started to work together by teleconference. We tried to uh, to see how everybody was working in their province and how we achieved success in different fields. You know, we were all very, very special and some of my colleagues from little province were struggling. They didn't even have real access to material because they were not near big centers. And um, one thing really uh, united us after a couple of years was that opioid crisis. Uh, it went through Canada really, really fast, and really in Vancouver, the, the situation was awful. People were dying and dying and dying, and in Montreal, we also had an overdose crisis in 2014. And um, so we decided to, to, to work together, really, to, to do something that each in our own region, we could, you know, put all that together and do a national action. Yeah. Well, I mean, we found a, a lot of common ground um, during this overdose epidemic. And, you know, one of the things that uh, I think united lots of people was the sense of exclusion from policy making and just, just the fact that people, you know, had this life experience and, you know, had the answers and didn't have the levers, you know, or the attention of political actors. And, you know, for, from our perspective, uh, you know, one thing everybody can do even if you are excluded, we can all be excluded together on the streets. And, you know, we had a national day of protest about what was happening in Canada. Um, the, the, the lack of urgency that we felt from our political actors um, and how they responded to the crisis. So, um, you know, we, it all came together fairly quickly. Um, we had eight cities across the country uh, participate and we, you know, took that, with that day came the policy change we wanted to see, which was, you know, we had five demands of the federal government, uh, an end to the drug war, and creating more access to heroin-assisted treatments and injectable treatments, uh, supervised consumption exemptions immediately, uh, harm reduction in prisons, and, um, you know, funding for our own autonomy. So we have the ability to self-advocate during an increasingly worse epidemic, um, you know, with more people dying right now than there is during, during you know, the worst, uh, worst times of the AIDS epidemic in Canada. So we, um, you know, we marched, uh, we marched through eight cities 
um, under that and under those under those federal demands, um, which which we think we're missing from all the conversations that had that had been ha being had at the federal level, uh, at the level of our federal government. Um, you know, ending the drug war to us seems you know obvious, but our government wasn't ready to have a conversation about that, even though. I mean, we're losing people so, like, you know, six or seven people a day um, in Canada. So, um, you know, and we're, we're continuing to do that. We're being vocal about what we think needs to change. And we, you know, we want our government to acknowledge that, you know, that this is, you know, this is life or death for us. And it's not appropriate that our government makes life or death decisions without us in the room, at least in the room, because otherwise, Otherwise, more people die. So, um, yeah, on, on that note, we um, we worked, you know, very, very hard on, on the day of action, and we had, you know, each city sort of um, kind of just developed their own little group to to plan um, to plan actions to to continue planning actions, and I think some of the cities they have like coalitions. Uh, in Vancouver, we have a coalition that's still doing actions at a local and provincial level. So in some of the cities, like these groups of people, you know, who plan the day action together kind of continued to push uh, drug policy uh, forward in, in their local context. Um, and one of these uh, local contexts um, that we're going to show you is uh, just a little video we made about uh, the day of action in, in Vancouver. Um, I'm going to see if it'll, it'll load up. No internet connection. Well, there you go. <laughs> is this not connected to the internet? Okay. Um, it is? Oh, it's dropping out. Okay. Well, it, you know, it's not um, always easy to, to, to work together when we're so far from a distance. Um, I think part of our success is because we, all in our own region, we are part of another group a group that is more uh, pro, um, regional and uh, so there's always somebody to work with us and I mean we may not see each other often but every year we try to have an event this year we're lucky we had the international arm reduction conference to get together uh, so we travel every year to meet each other in person at least one time and even by working by distance we managed to do some really cool project like, like a book called uh, Pyrology uh, it was both in French and in English, and it was about uh, how people can, uh, how people who use drug can take part of the decision that how to start a, an association, how to work with other peers, how to, uh, how to do a protest, you know, all those kind of idea. So if people want to see that, it's available on kt.ca um, in the distribution center. Yeah, yeah, and you can also find it on our Facebook page or um, our actual social media, like we've tweeted about it many times. Um, yeah, it's called Pureology. And I think what we've learned about all that is that together we're stronger and that, um, you know, the, the more we can make, uh, the more we can make noise, uh, the more people can see us in all kind of different uh, places and settings and events and action we do. Uh, well, we, we may not be a big, big, big group, but we are kind of powerful because uh, uh, we uh, on our Facebook more page more also, we use a Facebook page to reach people. How many people did we reach like that? Did you know it? Um, I know there's a lot of... Uh, um, the social media, there's a kind of a big aspect to this is I thought... You know, I, I was working sort of as Kaput's like communications person, and I, was, I thought that there wasn't enough emphasis in this movement on social media and how powerful it can be, right? So, we we you know built around that a little bit. I, I you know it, it's easy to keep people engaged that way and interested in what's going on, and just like our you know our National Day of Action was you know life won't wait or they talk we die. These are just you know hashtags that we use because you know that information could be traced back to us uh, when someone uses that hashtag and you know they can see the whole history of what we've done. 
So, yeah. And I think uh, another thing that is really important that makes us successful is the inclusion. And uh, we really include people as they are. Uh, if, if someone don't really want to talk and you know uh, to, they, they come for the first time and they want to listen, it's okay because that's how you learn. And uh, we try to include everybody and everybody uh, is able to take the place they want to take through different uh, projects and ideas. Mm -hmm. um, so I think there's going to be a question after. Do you have something else to... Um, to add? Mm, not really. I think we covered a lot. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just wait for questions. I'm at the end. Uh, at the end.